A legendary bodybuilder, beloved actor, and controversial politician, Arnold Schwarzenegger's career has been nothing less than extraordinary. Despite his many achievements, however, Arnie's life has been far from perfect. Here are some tragic details about Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger didn't have an easygoing childhood. Born in Austria in 1947, the actor grew up with parents who believed in tough love. The actor's dad, Gustav Schwarzenegger, was an alcoholic who made no secret of his preference for Schwarzenegger's brother. Gustav was also a police chief and a stern Catholic who was rigid in his ways and often physically abused the young Schwarzenegger. According to several accounts, Schwarzenegger's father played a role in World War II as a member of the Nazi party. Gustav's Nazi links haven't been swept under the rug by his son, who dug further once he discovered that his father had links to Hitler's party. The actor asked Rabbi Marvin Heyer of the Simon Wiesenthal Center, an organization that supports Jewish rights, to find out more. It was subsequently revealed that his father was indeed a Nazi supporter, but not an outright war criminal. Later, Heyer said in a statement, it's not a proud moment for anyone when you learn your father was a member of the Nazi party. But Arnold is not his father, and Arnold has to be judged for who he is. As a school child, Arnold Schwarzenegger wasn't exactly fascinated by the world of academia, but he was always intrigued by fitness. He was an enthusiastic and cheerful child who was drawn to soccer at first, and eventually found his love for bodybuilding. And while there are a number of theories around how the actor started lifting weights, it's undeniable that he was drawn to the sport from a very early age. Certainly, Schwarzenegger liked lifting far more than team sports. Basically, the young athlete wanted to stand out from the crowd, and he wasn't afraid to work hard for it either, despite his parents' puzzlement at his new obsession. Around the same time, Schwarzenegger also expressed a desire to go to the United States and become an actor, a dream which was met with derision by the young boy's father. That didn't stop Schwarzenegger, however, and he worked hard on his body, training pretty much every single day. Nothing could stop me. I think that comes from growing up the way it did. Arnold Schwarzenegger's family was hit by tragedy in 1971 when the actor's older brother, Meinhard, passed away in a sudden car crash. Because of his strained relationship with his father, Schwarzenegger couldn't go home after his brother died, and he ended up missing the funeral. As a result, the actor never really speaks about his brother in later life and tends to avoid mentioning him in interviews. When Arnie was just 25 years old, his father suffered from a stroke in a Graz hospital and passed away, only a year after Meinhard's passing. Again, Arnold made no appearance at his father's funeral. As per certain accounts, Gustav was gutted and heartbroken after the death of his older son, and never quite got over the tragedy. Allegedly, when his mother asked Schwarzenegger whether he would be attending the funeral, he said, No, it's too late. He's dead and nothing can be done. Schwarzenegger later explained in an interview that he'd conditioned himself to be stoic in order to be a champion. He said, if you want to be a champion, you can't have any kind of outside negative force coming in to affect you. When Arnold Schwarzenegger was just 18 years old, he found himself facing a prison sentence, having failed to finish military training, which was a requirement in his home country. The reason? He decided to take part in the Mr. Europe competition in Germany and sneakily left military camp without letting anyone know what he was up to. At the time, his passion for bodybuilding made him feel like it was worth taking this risk. It did work out in his favor after all, because he was declared the winner of the contest. Although, he still had to spend a few days in jail. He was given a lenient sentence, however, because he had the support of his superior officers, who sympathized with Schwarzenegger and his passion for bodybuilding. Arnold Schwarzenegger was only 20 years old when he found himself on the brink of achieving his dream. During his early bodybuilding career, Schwarzenegger was supported by Joe Weider, who was responsible for the International Federation of Bodybuilding, a group that worked with contests like Mr. Olympia and Mr. Universe. Weider's support helped Schwarzenegger get access to America and fulfill his lifelong dream of living there. In fact, Schwarzenegger was so popular that he bagged the Mr. Universe Award five times and was crowned Mr. Olympia several times too with the latter being one of the most respected honors a bodybuilder can ever receive. 
And the key to Schwarzenegger's success? In his opinion, it comes down to knowing how to pose. As he himself once wrote, posing is pure theater. I understand that, and I love it. Not having had the opportunity to focus on his education earlier in life, Arnold Schwarzenegger used his time in the U.S. to finish his education. In his 30s, he focused on getting a degree through distance learning at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. The actor received a bachelor's degree in international marketing of fitness and business administration. While Schwarzenegger originally became a member of the university as a guest lecturer, he was given a chance to participate in an extended degree program that allowed him to finish his studies. Most of his coursework happened when he was living in Los Angeles, but he would always ensure that he would come to campus whenever required, including meeting professors and sitting for exams. He was awarded a bachelor's degree in 1979 and even received an honorary doctorate in 1996 for his contribution to sporting events. Schwarzenegger has admitted to using steroids in the past in a bid to aid his bodybuilding efforts. The actor also admits that he didn't have regrets about turning to the drugs back then. He once explained in an interview, I have no regrets about it because at the time it was something new that came on the market and we went to the doctor and did it under doctor's supervision. He also explained that steroids were legal back then and it was something he decided to experiment with to see where he could go with them. But he did add that he wouldn't support drug use in general and would prefer to encourage athletes to turn to nutritional supplements and other legal methods if they are looking for a performance boost. Arnold Schwarzenegger is no stranger to mental health troubles. In 2018, the star reached out to a fan with depression who had told Schwarzenegger in a letter that his illness had left him unmotivated and unable to go to the gym. He requested the actor tell him to stop being lazy and go work out. The actor responded, writing, We all go through challenges. We all go through failure. Sometimes, life is a workout. But the key thing is, you get up. Schwarzenegger added that it's good to take one step at a time and not hesitate to reach out and ask for help. In the 1970s, the actor had turned to transcendental meditation when he found himself feeling overwhelmed and anxious as he rose to fame. The star once explained that there was a point when he realized he needed to act on it because even though things were working out for him, he wasn't feeling calm or at ease. Schwarzenegger religiously meditated every day for a year, not easing off until he began to feel better. In 2018, Arnold Schwarzenegger admitted in an interview with Men's Health that he had stepped over the line several times with women. In 2003, six women had alleged that the actor had attempted to either grope or humiliate them. Back then, Schwarzenegger denied the claims and claimed that they were meant to defame him as he was on his way to being a governor. He labeled the allegations as nothing more than a political smear. However, in the aftermath of the hashtag MeToo movement in 2017, Schwarzenegger took a step back to reflect on his own behavior. A year later, he apologized for his conduct. Schwarzenegger said, Looking back, I stepped over the line several times, and I was the first one to say sorry. I feel bad about it, and I apologize. In one of his most notorious scandals, Arnold Schwarzenegger courted controversy when he admitted to cheating on his ex-wife, Maria Shriver, with their housekeeper. In 2011, the star revealed that he had a child with their housekeeper when he was still with Shriver. It's just one of the disastrous situation that I've uh, created and it's the worst thing that I've ever done. The couple parted ways shortly afterwards, having been together for 25 years. The actor said in a later interview, I had personal setbacks, but this was without any doubt the biggest setback and the biggest failure, without any doubt. Schwarzenegger added that he knew he was the one who messed things up between him and his wife. Shriver and Schwarzenegger did try professional counseling to salvage their relationship, but in the end, nothing really worked. In fact, according to Schwarzenegger, the counseling process had the opposite effect. He himself called it, quote, nonsense talk. The actor also revealed that he did say sorry to Shriver and their children. He then focused on self-reflection, trying to figure out a way forward and develop a genial relationship with his former wife and children. And while he has admitted to knowing how much he hurt Shriver and their children, Schwarzenegger has mentioned in interviews that he remains hopeful for the future. 
In 2003, Arnold Schwarzenegger entered the world of politics, becoming elected governor of California. He stayed in office until 2011. However, his stint as a politician wasn't exactly a roaring success story, and many groups and individuals found themselves in opposition to the governor's policy positions. Among Schwarzenegger's political enemies were the workers who suffered pay cuts on his account, his Democratic rivals who thought little of his disdain for new taxes, and his Republican allies who demanded he become more aggressive. All in all, Schwarzenegger's tenure was a lonely one, and he struggled to make his constituents happy. As he once said, there were people all the way through, people who were disappointed. He added that while some wished to see him be way more conservative, others wanted him to become more liberal. By the time Schwarzenegger left office, his approval rating had fallen to 22%, and he was leaving behind a state budget deficit of $28 million. This was a far cry from the beginning of his political career, when he was wildly popular among the public, with some even speculating he could have run for president. For all his confidence and charisma, Arnold Schwarzenegger suffers from a very real and relatable fear, aging. In particular, he has often expressed his desire to stay relevant and keep up with the changing times. But while he's still very much a popular figure, things are a little different these days. An ex-girlfriend, Barbara Outland Baker, once said that she thinks Schwarzenegger wants to stay on top, no matter what. She explained, He just wants to be number one, in whatever context. He would do anything to sustain it. But the aging process? It's never welcome. Unfortunately, Schwarzenegger has faced several disappointments over the years as his movies have failed to leave a lasting impact on audiences, and things haven't been helped by his inability to make a political comeback. But don't go thinking you've seen the last of Arnie. I'll be back. As his biographer Michael Blitz once wrote, Schwarzenegger doesn't give up easily. In Blitz's words, he is the has-been who still is. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.